saying young women, women should get married young. Uh, before 20, before you guys disagree too? You guys disagree? Why should women get married young? Yeah, women should get married young. Why? Well, that's why their value is highest? Yes. Okay, well, that seems like a pretty reasonable argument. Fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. 24, not like 25, 23. Huh? I mean, that's grasping at straws a bit. I mean, you got to, 25, 24, it's fine. But like, the point is, is that they need to get married young and have children. Now. It's not really a difference, you know? <laughs> I think you guys are missing the overall concept. I'm saying women need to get married young and have kids. Do young. women disagree with you? Yeah. You know, a lot of the career women try to disagree and say, no, I need to have money and make money and all this other crap. Pushing off your kids to have a career is a big mistake that a lot of women make. Why? Well, the options available to them when they get older aren't going to necessarily be available to them when they're in their 30s and they, you know, got their career. I mean, with modern technology and science, I feel like women look just as great in their 30s as they do in their 24, right? But so times. do older men, though. That's why the gray look on a man is attractive, but the gray look on a woman is not. Would you prefer a girl Absolutely. who's not experienced at all? I would argue most men would prefer a woman that's not experienced if she's going to be their main counterpart. But I feel like most men would love a girl who's more experienced than men, yeah, to have more enjoyable time. You know? I'm saying when it comes to like a main partner, they want a girl that's less promiscuous. Less promiscuous? Like a yes. But less experienced too? I don't think guys will have an issue with a girl being less experienced if that comes from her being not promiscuous. For a serious partner. Remember, I'm differentiating casual intimacy versus like real intimacy with a partner. Most guys, if they could, would prefer a woman with low mileage and low body count. And her having a lack of experience with that is more acceptable than if you were a guy and you had a low body count. You didn't have So she's a really awesome girl with a great personality. Just because she has a high mileage or a high body count, something makes her worthless? Pretty much, yeah. Really? Yeah, promiscuous girls tend to, don't tend to be good people. Huh? Do you think that maybe that's your opinion, but I got an opinion? Well, the reality is that when girls are promiscuous, they have a lot of character flaws that won't make them a good wife and or serious girlfriend. But when guys are promiscuous and they're successful and have multiple girls, that doesn't have any character flaws for them? No, it doesn't, because the thing is, for a man to be promiscuous, he's have to achieve something. Yeah. Women don't have to achieve anything to be promiscuous. So are you so saying that it's okay for him to be promiscuous because he's achieved something? So if a girl's yes. achieved something, she can be promiscuous? Yeah, because female promiscuity is not the same as male promiscuity. Why all. is that? Because our biology is different. Explain how biology is different. How many kids can you have a year? A lot. Okay. How many kids can a woman have a year? No, only one. I mean, she can have a lot over her lifetime. No, but Just in like one year. In one year. She can only bring but one child. But how many can you actually provide for as a man? Versus how many can she... Just because is, you can plant your seed that, everywhere doesn't mean point, that you can have multiple kids. You're just not going to be providing for those kids, don't you think? No, no, no. The point I'm trying to make here is, is that women, by their own biology, okay, cannot be promiscuous. It's not in their best interest. This is why there's so many different safeguards against that. They can only have one kid per year. They're designed to have an emotional attachment with a man for a bunch of different reasons from a biological standpoint. So a promiscuous man is not the same as a promiscuous woman whatsoever. It takes skill as a man to be promiscuous. Now, am I saying men need to run around and be promiscuous? No. However, it doesn't do the same psychological damage to but a man. But as we all know, a man's only as, as faithful as his options. Yes. So if he has a lot of other girls running around, He's not going to be providing for those kids in the same way that a woman would. So obviously the flaw in their argument, don't you think? Well, here's the thing. A man can have multiple women and still be fine. Women can't have multiple men, though. But like Most I said, girls a man's prefer... not going to provide for multiple children. He's he just going to be out there he can. just planting his seed and having sex. Don't yeah, you? he can. He can provide multiple There's. He can provide for multiple women? Oh, like in Islam, polygamy like is a thing. Yeah, emotionally or just fiscally he with money? Because it's very easy to provide for a child with he, money. He can do but both. can you give the emotional care that the kid needs? Well, here's the thing. Men don't necessarily base their love to a woman based solely on emotion. Men, we, live, we give love in different ways. We give love through action, through protecting and providing, giving a stable rock, leadership, etc. We're not as emotional in our How are you going to be giving. a stable rock and give that emotional need when you're with multiple women having multiple baby daddies? I'm not saying impregnate them. Remember, this conversation started with female promiscuity versus male promiscuity. That's how it started. I'm just saying women aren't capable of being promiscuous like men are. Men are capable of being promiscuous because of our biology. Am I saying they need to be promiscuous? No. To try to conflate the two that a guy that has sex with a lot of girls is the same as a, a girl that has sex with a lot of dudes. Not at all. And this is why promiscuous women tend to not be good people because they lack discernment, they lack character, they lack integrity. Because a lot of times for you to be a promiscuous woman, you have to do dumb shit. You ever met, dated like a sex worker or whatever? Like they're not necessarily good people a lot of the times. And they have a very That's unhealthy a pretty crazy thing for you to say about Miami because it's full of sex workers. Exactly. Yeah. They end up being terrible partners long term. They end up being terrible. They're just for sex and recreation use only because when a woman gets becomes promiscuous, she just starts to adapt to certain bad habits that make her unwifeable. And men don't like that in relationships. I don't know if they want to. No, pleasure, man. Good discussion. Don't worry. I love that shit. Good discussion, man. Good, Good, Good easy. Fantastic. Thanks, man. Um,